least we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story. But I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. That all you care about? The ballads this'll inspire? Egos swell a bit lately, getting more and more selfish with age. What is that about? It's about Siri. Why would I ever worry about her? You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this. You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh. Guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, I can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. Vafail Elaine Kiadmil Foli. Gladiv Dorn Ep Tenaid Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. Damn it, that's just not enough. Siri say anything else? Didn't say much at all, to be honest. Geralt, she's no longer that little girl who ran around Kaer Morin. Sure, she's still impulsive, alive, but she's also stubborn and sulky. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from the tree, let me tell you. Right. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Doubt it. Talk to the Baron there. He's the one helped Siri. Said she rode off to Novigrad to look for Yen and me. And Yen's in Skellige, looking into traces she thinks Siri left behind there. So... Skellige? Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other, talked, in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon, and thanks again for today.
Why ever would he want that? Man will be thrilled. Come on, go. Oi! Master Witcher! Eh... Uh, <laughs> we are, um, grateful that we wanted to demonstrate that. So, we got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the Hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing, really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. So I'm afraid to see the surgeon. Never know when they'll accuse him of witchcraft. <laughs> Kill one more beast, I'm they'll give you the keys to the city. Hear ye, hear ye! All onlookers, all riders! The venerable Bagelbert to fight you! Last chance to race him! There are friends at full speed! Hear the Bagelbert to fight you! Let them go! That's all it takes! He needs, Master. No, These so are foul dear. practices. We can Stop at, at once. Nature. The Dancing thinking on a scaffold. See right They've away gone too the best far. Deals this I think it's rather fight. entertaining. People die there. Exactly. And look all very suspicious to me. I prefer the latter. Got my eye on you, white one. Top knot. Show me what So long. I could go for a few. No loitering round here. My order the hierarch. Let us trust the Who shall I conceal the right cabbage last night? Head feels like it's full of sauerkraut. Any needs, master? Welcome. What have you got? So long.
Pass the barn on yon defense, the crowing cockle sits. I'll come to you, my darling lass. Aye, to leave this city somehow. Oh, come here, hero. Give us a kiss. Help! Save me! I'm dying of poverty! Double shades. Mages, <laughs> mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. Library. Imagine that. By the times when beggars can put letters. The eternal fire will light Mind our the guards. way. <laughs> Looking for a barber? Well, you found one. Welcome. Give me a haircut. As long as your hands aren't too shaky. This is not what I wanted. What do you mean, not what you wanted? Are you cut and quaffed? You are. And even as even can be, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Thanks a bunch. Oh, welcome. Give me a haircut. So long. Life, you gotta take risks and not get fat. <coughs> Go 
good folk. Show us what Mages you're bringing in. He who has lived in virtue shall find warmth at the fire. He who has lived in sin shall perish within it. Wondering if I could take part in the races. If you've coined for the rider's fee and a steed of your own, why not? Decide quickly, please. There's a race about to begin. I want a race. Grand. Your name and the name of your steed. Geralt of Rivia, on Roach. Excellent. Your opponent, let me see. Seamus Holt astride Athos. Sick of Competitors, it. saddle up! On three! One, two, three! Oh, Off you me? go! From a sorcerer's scout! Not bad, yet we shouldn't kid ourselves. The competition was hardly stiff. Shall I sign you up for another? Another race. Will you ride? Like to race again. Excellent. Don't go anywhere. We'll start soon. Your opponent this time, Viscount Roma astride Caniculus. The Viscount races incognito, so I must ask for your discretion. Competitors, saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! What about the trade we do with the other
Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Bagel Bud Memorial Derby is over. Bravo. Congratulations, you won in style. Shall I sign you up for another? Another race. Will you ride? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? Your opponent this time? Luke Vagelbud, young Lord Albert's cousin, atop Succubus. He's the black sheep of the family, but he's not lost a race yet. So he's seen as something of a local champion. Competitors, saddle up! Mages. On three! One, two, three! Off you go! You are the famed Geralt of Rivia, are you? Luke Vagelbud is good, but he's not unbeatable. Shall I sign you up for another? Want to try again? Gained an appetite, have we? He's the black sheep of... Competitors, saddle up! On three! One! Two! Three! Off you go! Let's dance. That's it, Roach.
Go, go. Hear ye, hear ye. The final of the Erasmus Vagelbud Memorial Derby is over. The winner... Fantastic race! Congratulations! A grand victory! Captured and displayed in the sideshow of a circus. Well, it could be quite profitable. Well, well. Well, I'll be a true albino. Geralt of Revia. Got it right. What do you want? To express my admiration on account of your victory. And here. Brought you an invitation from the boss. He'd like to congratulate you. Personally, farewell. Come on. Watch your step. Still breathe. Uh, Aye, to he's me. let it. Some still breathe as I toss him in the fire. Orders say not little souls to leave without. <laughs>
They ought to never let your kind in, no regret proper. Last chance to surrender on orthodox books. Grimoires and tracts blaspheming what the sacred flame especially. As clear as the eternal fire. Me trousers. Wondering all I had. By order of the hierarch, look all free suspicious to me. The mage in their home shall burn alongside him. Thanks for the invite. Congratulations. Quite a winner, the Vagal Buds. Luke's one hell of a prick, but I don't recall him ever losing before. And seeing as you outran him, you actually stand a chance at Palio. Make some real coin. Fine, I'll race. Lovely. Color me thrilled. Just don't bloody let me down, because I'm about to bet a small fortune on you. Go prepare. Drink some chamomile or whatever the fuck you do. The Palio is above all a race of honor. The winner doesn't just win a reward, he earns our respect as well. So, take your positions and get the fuck going. Another drift of infantry. Ain't easy to win the Palio. Better luck next year. Come on now. It's over right sheep's feet. Great fuck. Could have whittled me so shit happens. Oh, you sure fucking do. 
Temple guard, scatter! I'm fucking done here. Stay out my way for a while. Dwarven moonshine. Nothing stinks quite like it. There's the bottle. Muggs was attacked here. Welcome to the Seven Caps, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. What's on the menu today? So long. Why is your hair so grey, darling? Never seen one like him before. <laughs> Hand over the documents, thief. Me? A thief? I won him straight, I did, in a game of cards. Not how Mug sees it. Claims he was... mugged. He lost, demanded them papers back, and when I refused, he walloped me over the noggin with a bottle. Barely escaped with me life. Give me the papers. You have to. True. Definite.
Well? Found the thief who took your documents. I can't be. Let's go get him. You can hold him while I take what's mine. Slow down. See, this man said he never attacked you. Said you lost to him at cards. Ah, cheeky bastard. But like me Aunt Rosalie always said, lies got but wee legs and don't run far. The documents belong to my employer. A deed to a townhouse in Wengerberg. And true enough, I've been drinking. Got a bit carried away. I lost them in the game of cards. Then you whacked the winner on the head with a bottle. W what was it to do? I he weren't willing to give him back. When the scoundrel drew a weapon, I, I fled. But without them papers, I haven't the gumption to show my face at home. Here, now pay up. Of course I will. Give you all I've left. We'd not have it any other way. Move it! That's it, Roach. She cast no spells. O on my honor. An elf's honor worth less than a man. Happiness will come today. Where are you going? Wonderful. Oh, I wish my man were as brave as you. And it killed monsters. <laughs> my Repeat. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the King of Beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. 
Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wade, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel card out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. What's the hurry? To be a Pavera cheap whore and watered down wine? Hey, I can't control what I inherit. But you can control what I'd give you. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend's to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Carol, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. What? He never Black gave me ones nothing but Danians. Floppy diddly. You don't have to give, you can't don't do it. it. You were the one. What's he schemed up this time? Suspicious to me, Trent. You know the Ballad of Wonder, uh, who scorned in Elfgarden? Let us live, eh? Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Voila. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. You lazy the bats are slapping the mug to the working man. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, 
would get a bonus for working in piss poor weather. Ah, finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble. Flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. Run, Dandelion! On guard! I mean... I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? No loitering round here. Oh, boy. Old man Newman left me a gift last time. You're a vulgar one. What? You can see it in your face. Giving me nothing but floppy diddly. You don't know how to give. You can't receive. Saying I'm no good at giving. I'll give, give you a. Dis Black ones, Redanians, as long as they pay and don't hit.
Oh, my new man left me a gift last week. What? They never give me nothing but Zoltan. Get out! Nice talking to you. Damn it, I'll be late. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. <sighs> I need a rest. Damn it, I'll be late. What are you doing? These days, Not time air on rained all of it's a There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today, so we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in, and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrive. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? No idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novigrad in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who works for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see 